Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York, iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in the Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift in our Expert on the Microphone series, we're featuring the incredible board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Michelle Tarbox. She's an associate professor back where it all started at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. Dr. Tarbox is a keynote speaker, and KOL on topics ranging from dermoscopy to cosmetic dermatology to infectious diseases to patient satisfaction and to so much more. She's also the co-host and co-creator of the Dermosphere podcast centered towards dermatologists, those who are dermatologically interested and medical students. She's going to join me today to chat all about the importance of staying up to date with the latest skincare technologies and how CO2 lift is changing the game. Welcoming now to the show is the incredible Dr. Michelle Tarbox. Welcome, superstar. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. So excited to chat with you. So you have a very rich background in dermatology and dermatopathology. Mm -hmm. What initially drew you to these fields and how has your journey shaped your career? You know, I became interested in dermatology when I was a teenager teaching swimming lessons in beautiful, sunny Lubbock, Texas, which is usually beautiful and sunny, but every once in a while it rains. And when it would do that, we needed to teach about safety. We taught about water safety and sun safety, and I learned about the importance of protecting and caring for your skin. That interest grew as I studied more and more about medicine, and I found my way to dermatology as my specialty of choice as a third-year medical student. And I have really enjoyed learning and growing in this field. I think our skin is a fascinating organ. It's like a living fabric that repairs itself and protects the wearer, and we need to take care of it in turn. Well, now that you put it like that, the skin <laughs> is, is, is the biggest organ, right? So we definitely have to start taking care of our skin and, and paying more attention. But as a board-certified dermatologist specializing in both medical and cosmetic dermatology, uh, Mohs surgery and dermatopathology, how do you ensure you stay up to date with all the latest trends and technologies in the field? And how do you evaluate the credibility and effectiveness of these new techs? Because it could get really overwhelming. You know, one of the best things that happened in my whole career was having one of the former residents that I trained reach out to me with the idea of the Dermosphere podcast. And he had this great idea that we needed to have a podcast to keep dermatologists up to date with the literature. So I read on delve into a lot of our practice relevant literature every single week to make sure that I'm up to date and current. I also attend and speak at a lot of meetings and I learn a lot from my colleagues. I think it's important to vet the information we're presented with, with veracity because we want to present things authentically to our patients. And so I feel a huge sense of duty to make sure that I'm offering the most appropriate and the most proven treatments to my patients. I love the narrative and I love the ethos of everything um, related to your, to your ecosystem. Let's shift a little bit because clinically researched and clinically verified in your field are of the utmost importance. So let's chat about this amazing product, CO2 Lift. Carboxytherapy has in fact been around since the 1930s, but mm -hmm. the method of delivery has since changed and is no longer injected, but to my understanding, delivered mm -hmm. non-invasively in a mask format. When did you first hear of CO2 lift products? And in your own words, can you describe how carboxytherapy functions on a cellular level? Absolutely. So I actually first heard of the CO2 lift product when I got a very cute selfie from one of my fellows that had gone to a meeting. It sort of looks silky. It looks very soft. It looks like you want to just reach out and touch it. And it's thick. It looks interesting. So she sent me that and she was like, you have to learn about this product. So the next time that I had the opportunity, I was at the South Beach Dermatology meeting speaking at the Terranea Resort in California, which is a beautiful meeting. And Lana was there presenting with her colleagues about the CO2 lift peel. And I just got to sit down and learn with them and understand how the science worked. And it was so fascinating how they'd adapted this technology that was originally developed almost 100 years ago to help improve skin health. The way that it works is really fascinating. So our skin has to keep, like all of our tissues do, a balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide. When you are dealing with carboxytherapy, carbon dioxide is delivered to the deeper levels of the skin. And when it reaches those levels, you develop something called hypercapnia, so an elevated level of CO2. And you can actually develop a carbonic acid that is going to change the pH of that tissue 
When the pH changes, the hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen in our blood, changes a little bit the way it holds the oxygen. It holds it a little less tightly. And that means oxygen is being delivered directly to our tissues. And that's very activating for our cells. It helps them to develop a growth mindset, if you will. So they're going to now elaborate growth hormones and chemicals, things like epidermal growth factor, vascular endothelial growth factor, and fibroblast growth factor. That's going to tell our skin it needs to heal itself. It turns on the healing mechanism of the skin. And that's the way carboxytherapy can help improve something called neocollagenesis, or the synthesis of new collagen, as well as tissue elasticity and oxygenation. So I've seen this definitely improve the health of tissues that the peel is applied to. The peel does this instead of injecting it under the skin with a small needle the way traditional carboxytherapy is done by generating carboxytherapy at the skin surface and then occluding it or covering it with something that's kind of not going to be able to let the gas through that pushes that carbonic that um, carboxy therapy into the skin that co2 comes into the deeper levels of the skin and it creates those cellular changes which is really kind of fascinating it's using the skin's natural healing mechanisms to improve its health you know your stuff girl <laughs> Thank now you. now in addition to co2 lift being used as a as a monotherapy it's also proven uh, to heavily aid in the healing process post-procedure. And it's important to note that the CO2 Lift Pro is the strongest version, which can only be provided to patients by medical professionals like yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm interested to know how do you use CO2 Lift in conjunction with other procedures, whether it's microneedling, derm uh, dermabrasion, CO2 lasers, or chemical peels. I mean, the list goes on and on um, with what you can use this product, to my understanding. So how have you firsthand seen it improve a procedure's results and a patient's comfort level? Well, being a scientist, I'm naturally curious. So as soon as I got home with the, the new carboxy peels that I'd purchased for my practice, I tried it out. I tried it out on one of my patients that I have uh, have a good relationship with, and we do we do teaching with this patient. So she has a very calm personality, and when I'm training my residents on how to do procedures, she's one of our model patients. So we did a microneedling treatment on this patient, and we applied the carboxy therapy to just one side of the face, just to see what the difference would be. The patient reported immediate decrease in discomfort and the burning sensation that can happen after microneedling. When we removed the peel, we also saw that the redness of the skin was significantly decreased on the side that the peel had been applied to. And then the patient reported to us that she felt like she healed much more quickly and even had better results on the side that we applied the peel to. So, of course, the next time we had her back for a training, we did it to the whole face, and she had a beautiful result going forward. And that really sold me on the utility of this treatment and its ability to really improve post-procedure outcomes. I use it for CO2, laser therapy, microneedling, chemical peels, and microdermabrasion. That's fascinating. It's it, combo therapy. It's, it's a great, great product, right? Now, recently, you've been seeing a shift in patients' preferences towards non-invasive procedures. What do you believe is driving the increasing demand for non-invasive procedures and products? I think that one of the reasons so many people are looking for non-invasive treatments now is that people are just so busy. It's really difficult to go hide under the covers for a couple of weeks while you recover from something deeply invasive with our busy, bustling lives. I think another reason that minimally invasive procedures are gaining popularity is that many of them do rely on the natural healing mechanisms of the skin. And one of the great things about that is that those treatments deliver really natural results. Our skin is going to heal itself in a way that is natural for our own tissue, our own anatomy, and the contours of our face that occur naturally. When we are dealing with more invasive therapies, there is a line you can cross into having too much work done, where you start to look a little bit less like yourself and more like a cartoon version of the person that you used to be. And we don't want to put patients in that space that's called the uncanny valley, where they look kind of like themselves, but enough unusualness that it makes people feel a little bit uncomfortable with the image they're presented with. So I think that these natural and non-invasive therapies can deliver really natural looking results that are effective. I always tell my patients that na nature takes time, and so we have to give it time to work. But I do see even after a single or a second peel session, significant improvement. And it's a product I really believe in and use on myself as well. Now let's talk about skin conditions. So what skin conditions have you noticed becoming more prevalent in the recent years? And how has CO2 lift helped? 
You know, I think if you ask any practicing dermatologist this, the first thing they're going to tell you is frontal fibrosing alopecia. This is a, is a kind of chronic scarring hair loss that are, involves the frontal hairline. And we think that there are connections with certain topical products, hormone disruptors, potentially certain silicon containing products. And it can cause a, a permanent scarring hair loss that removes the frontal hairline and causes it to recede. The very interesting thing to me about the CO2 lift peel is I've had a, a couple of patients I've trialed with an application on the frontal hairline and it has brought down the inflammation, the erythema, the redness around the hair follicles and improved the scale. And I think that it's helping to deal with some of the inflammatory infiltrate. So I'm actually working on doing a little study on that. Lichen sclerosis is a condition where the female genital area becomes inflamed in a somewhat similar fashion and the tissues can become destroyed or atrophied. The CO2 lift peel actually has a product specifically made for that area and there have been improvements in tissue quality quality and health through the administration of carboxytherapy using the, the product made specifically for that area by the CO2 lift peel. And those two conditions can be quite debilitating and can significantly affect quality of life. You also see more inflammatory acne and that can be significantly improved with the CO2 lift peel as well because oxygen helps to deal with inflammation and it helps to decrease the bacterial load that's causing the bacteria to um, elaborate acne lesions. This product is truly a miracle worker. What doesn't it do? <laughs> now, you're, you're an award-winning professor and educator. Why do you believe education is crucial in the field of dermatology for both students and practicing health professionals, especially in an era of such rapid advancements? I mean, you hit the nail right on the head. This is a very strange time in science and in dermatology specifically. We used to be sort of a niche specialty. It was a small part of the house of medicine. And if you asked the average lay person what a dermatologist did, they might not really know how to respond to that question. But because of social media, because of interest in skin care, because people have started to really think want to take great care of their skin, there is a lot of information out there about how to take care of your skin, and unfortunately, not all of it is accurate. There are also a lot of people in the skincare space that are just there to make as much money as they can and then get out. And so there are products being developed overnight that may or may not work, and some of which may or may not be safe for patients to use. So education is vital for providers to understand the treatments that they're giving to their patients or recommending to their patients so that we can ensure the most important things, safety, efficacy, and appropriate use. Well said. Now, lastly, you're the co-host with Dr. Luke Johnson of the Dermosphere podcast, mm -hmm. which is a podcast, like I said earlier, by dermatologists, for dermatologists, and for the dermatologically curious. Mm -hmm. What topics do you cover on your show and what impact do you hope the podcast has on the dermatology community as a whole? Our podcast is really aimed at being practice relevant. So what we do is we actually review articles that have been published in our literature that our dermatology colleagues can use in their practice the next day after they read it, things that they can put into action to improve the health and care of their patients. And we've been very fortunate to have a lot of expert guest authors as guests on our podcast. We record every two weeks. It's about an hour long. We cover four to six articles, and we try to bring the newest and latest and best developments in dermatology to everybody's eyes and ears so that they can put those practices into place and help their patients the best way they can. You are fantastic. Oh my goodness. You are incredible. Not only are you tending to your patients, but now you are educating the world through this incredible podcast. And I know that most people that are eager to learn love podcast consumption. That's one cool way of content creation and, and really getting your message directly to that community you speak to. So thank you so much for joining us. You're an eloquent speaker. It was, it was so much fun chatting with you. Thank you for being transparent and honest and teaching me something. Well, thank you so much for having me and for helping people understand this great treatment. I think it's really important for people to have access to treatments that really work. That was the Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. And that was the amazing trailblazer, Dr. Michelle Tarbox, board certified dermatologist, professor, and co-host of the Dermosphere podcast. Definitely check out the podcast at dermospherepodcast.com. And I know you're all on the gram, so check her out at No Drama Derm Mama and at Dermosphere Podcast. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. 
A Moment of Zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can reverse this aging process with CO2 Lift. CO2 Lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, ask your skincare professional or go to CO2Lift.com.